In this class, we are going to learn how we can create a Visual Builder application. Suppose there is a requirement in your project wherein you have to load the CSV data or download a sample CSV wherein you can modify the details within the sample and re-upload over here and view the details. First of all, I will download a sample CSV that is by clicking on the button and it will download a CSV file. Now I will click on the load CSV file. I will select this downloaded sample CSV file and click on open. As soon as I click on open, it will show the list of all the details or the records present in that particular CSV file. Suppose if you modify anything within the CSV and re-upload, it will list all the details over here and also it will show the name of the file, what is the file size and the type of the file. If we want to get rid of the content then we can just click on this reset and it will reset all the details. Suppose if you want to upload the details here for the consideration, we have considered uploading the details to the business object. But in your project, if you want to upload it to any REST API, SOAP service, integration or even the database, you can customize this button. Now I will click on this upload. We will get a pop up and here we have to select appropriately the business object and the mode absurd or the create. I'm selecting absurd and clicking on upload. When click on upload we are getting this bar over here if you see we can customize all those things until the details are loaded this animation will show and once it is done and it will go off and we will get a message saying upload success let me just close this and if you want to get rid of this screen and we want to upload any other csv file then we can just click on this reset all and it will reset the content over here so this application we have not created from scratch rather we have considered the recipe of visual builder cookbook so we can download it from the vbcookbook.oracle.com. I will show you the location exactly where we can download this application.zip file. Now without wasting much time, let's walk through the code for this application. I have imported the recipe downloaded file into my Visual Builder applications. And here it looks something like this. In that we are having a couple of pages created and we have few action chains, listeners, types, variables. And as I have shown, we are considering uploading the details to the business object and here few business objects are there. Now our main focus of interest is how to create those buttons. Now let me just go to this web applications and select this file loader hyphen CSV hyphen start. If you want to consume this recipe in your application, we have to focus only on this start. Let me minimize this web application page. First thing what we can do is we have to make sure we create these variables in our application and also the type. One of the quick method is go to this JSON. So whatever you see here in the variables, just copy everything from here up to here. That is before metadata, everything comes under the variables. Copy this and paste in your JSON file of your application. Next comes the type. If you copy type and variables to your JSON file, present in your application the types and the variables will be auto created for you you don't have to sit and waste time and create all those stuff again let me switch back to this page designer and the next thing what we see over here is the buttons so all those things if you want you can just get rid of in your application this is just a recipe so there is a boilerplate code over here now let me just expand this and see the structure how it looks now all the buttons they have placed within the toolbar and there is a flex container and the flex row though these are used in order to style this and it will look very neat and clean over here so that for that purpose they have added this flex row and flex container now within the toolbar we need to place four buttons over here one is for loading the csv one is for downloading the sample one is for resetting the screen and another is for uploading to bo or it could be upload to database or any apis now let me first go to this load csv data so there is a button created over here before placing a button you need to drag and drop the file picker so file picker is the main component with the help of which we will be able to upload a file by clicking or by dragging and dropping so since we have placed a button over here we need to click and manually select from our computer now we need to just drag and drop within this toolbar then once you drop that if you see over here we need to place the button you can just search over here for button and button that is this one we need to drag and drop within this file picker they have done the same thing next is the styling for styling they have used this sm small and in the chroming call to action next is we have to add this icon so we can make use of the static dot 
images from oracle.com as we had seen earlier in our classes so we can go to that site and choose the appropriate icon which is applicable for you in most of the cases load csv data will use this upload symbol from the list of icons available in oracle site in order to look at the event that is placed in the file picker we need to go to this file picker instead of button so the event is created at the file picker level just click on this so it will open up the action chain or else we need to create a exact similar action chain in our case as well now first of all we need to reset this this is one of the variables which will be used in subsequent flows next is we have to go through the contents of the csv file now there is the input parameter in which we pass the content of the file which we have uploaded with the help of file picker if i click on this file we will see it is getting the values from this variables dot files just close this and next is the javascript they have used we will go to the javascript directly now here details are provided in the recipe now let's go to the recipe and see what they have done in order to parse through the csv file i am here in the recipe page available in the vbcookbook.oracle.com if we scroll down as i discussed as of now we need to first of all add the file picker from the components palette we had seen there is a file picker we need to drag and drop within the toolbar then we had seen we need to drop the button within the file picker then on click of the button we have created a event that is at the file picker level so all those things we have completed next comes the reading the csv file so this read csv process javascript function is created within this file picker select chain action chain now in detail is provided over here so the reading of file is done with the help of file reader api if we click on this we will go to the mozilla's documentation for this file reader api we can have a look at this then we have to generate a formatted result if any error we can capture that as well now if you are trying to read any other format file like excel file or any other file then your logic will come over here suppose you might have a scenario in your project wherein you may not be reading the csv file instead you will be reading a excel file or any other file at that time you need to modify this read and process function now here they are reading only one file because they have restricted the number of files which could be added to only one if you are adding multiple files then you need to iterate over the files then you have to read and parse the data available in each file and respond back first is they are trying to get the columns that is the first row in the csv file they are considering as a column in your case if you don't have column then you can get rid of this section next comes the table data the subsequent rows after the first row is considered as a table data now once done what they are doing to do is they are generating a response which will have a name size type column and table data this will have all the details of all the rows and the column will have all the details for the column this will be the file type size and the name all those things they are capturing and returning back in case of any error we will be sending the error details back over here what is the exact error and why it has gone wrong if the file is empty again it will be caught as an error and it will be sent back so this is the javascript they have used within the action chain so once they have passed the process then we are checking whether it is a success or not in case of any error we have to show a notification in which the error will be displayed and we will again reset this current if it is fine then we will try to map the columns data whatever this javascript has taken it will map to columns and the table data we will map to this upload data adp this will be used to populate the screen over here that is this one so next has file loaded these things will be used in order to show the animation i had shown how the animation will work when we click on the upload bo that time we will see the animation for loading so this is one of the action chain once we complete this action chain we need to go back to our designer download a sample example csv this is a simple one we need to first of all import our file that is the csv file within the resources folder over here so suppose if you are creating for the first time just right click on this and click on this import here we need to give the slash csv then drag and drop your file over here so if the folder is already created then it will place directly the file over here if not it will create a slash csv folder and drop it over here this is the first thing we need to do next is we need to go to this button there is a action chain click on this now what they are trying to do with this function is they have created a function which will get the path for the resources slash csv that is the employee.csv file that what we have placed over here so with the help of these two url within the require they are generating the csv's url 
so that they can make use of this open url action within this action chain and you can download the file on click of the button that what we had seen over here that is by clicking on the button so those two things we had seen let me go back to the page designer coming to reset all so we had seen by clicking on this reset all it will remove everything from the screen and the recipe things will come up so that they have done with the help of this action chain again that is very simple they have made use of this reset variables action from here just drag and drop and we have to use those variables to reset this is done and the last thing which is remaining is upload functionality so upload to bo they have considered but in our case we might upload the details to a database or rest api integration or anything else so here they are making use of call component and they are asking for a user confirmation that is whether to proceed or not with the help of a dialog now we will go to the dialog now i will go to the code and search for the dialog over here there is over here in order to show you how the dialog will look like i will click on this upload and the dialog will look something like this it will have a form kind of thing wherein the user will select one among many from the lov for the business object name and the mode and those are required now if i go to this dialog here if you see they are making use of the validation over here on the form and there is a property they are making use of that is a valid with the help of this we can check whether the form is valid or not that they have made use while user clicks on upload button that is this one that they are making use of this validation now everything is simple just they are making use of the select single component and populating the details with the help of options then i will go to directly this button over here that is that action chain which, have, which they have created for this upload button select go to this click on this line and go to events and click on this action chain that is validate and upload button first of all they are making a check whether the form is valid or not so this is the variable that they had used in order to capture the validation results on the form that is with the help of the validation group component available in the visual builder next they are closing the pop up that is as soon as we click on this upload this pop up will go off that they are considering over here next is we are getting this loading animation over here they have not stopped once the pop-up has come up so that we can stop this thing we can customize next is the preparing the payload suppose if you are trying to send the data to business object or anywhere else we need to modify this function over here in the javascript and construct the details as per our need so this business object it is expecting the id operation path and the payload they have considered in the similar line but if your requirement is something else then we have to modify this payload go to actions next is they are going to call this upload action chain here they are just making a call to this rest that is business object rest api wherein they are uploading the details like this with the help of this recipe we can build our visual builder application or incorporate this recipe in any of our project and achieve this loading a csv file downloading a csv file how we can reset the form and other stuffs and also we can see how we can upload the details or transform the data from csv to json format or any other format with the help of javascript and upload the details so we can download this recipe by going to this vbcookbook.com on the right top corner there is an option to download click on this download button and download the file if you are stuck anywhere you can go to this recipe section here oracle has documented in detail what and all customizations they have done in order to achieve the use case you can follow the same and we can implement the functionality for your business requirement